In the presentation of world events, there's much more going on that is spiritual in nature than we may be aware of. Hi, this is Barry Phillips with 10 Minute Torah, and today we begin Torah portion Bo. Bo is a commonly translated used word in the Hebrew language, meaning most often go, such as one being sent to another location or to another person. Another interesting application of the word is to come, that is to come into, uh, to come toward, to enter into. And so when we read in uh, our Torah portion today, beginning in chapter number 10, uh, the word says, And Yahweh said to Moshe, Bo, go into Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the hearts of his servants, so that I show these signs of mine before him. Now, if Yah is saying go, he is saying that perhaps, as I would hear that, Go where I am not. It's not that Yah is not everywhere present at the same time, but you go see for yourself. Um, I think there's something else being said, though. I think the Father is saying, come. Come to where I am in this throne room, where I am already at work, where I am manipulating and pulling the strings behind this throne and situating it exactly where I need it to be and want it to be in order for my will and my kingdom to be done. When we see tyrants, despots, dictators, ruthless leaders in the earth, they've always been around. There's always someone trying to manipulate and control a people and a nation, exercising their will even across national borders, And we may think, well, once we get rid of the individual, then the threat is gone. We need to realize that behind the individual is a spirit or a group of spirits, perhaps a principality or a power. When Adolf Hitler was eliminated, uh, even by suicide, unless you go with the conspiracy theories that he's still alive and somewhere in Argentina— uh, when he died, the the threat of anti-Semitism and the annihilation of the Jewish people did not die with him. Uh, that that spirit that was behind the man and the scheme and the regime is still alive. It just switched to another location, found another willing puppet, and is continuing on with its efforts. So what we see and the repetitions of political agendas, uh, wars, um, nations warring against one another, these are age old. And the spirits that are behind them, the powers that operate behind the scenes, they're all the same. They've been around for generations after generations They're only finding willing partners whose hearts can be turned and manipulated and controlled to head in the direction that they would desire. Now, if we were to go to the book of Ezekiel, Yehezkel chapter 29, verses 2 and 3 read this way. Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh, the sovereign of Mitzrayim, and prophesy against him and against Mitzrayim all of it. Speak, and you shall say, Thus said the Master Yahweh, See, I am against you, O Pharaoh, sovereign of Mitzrayim, O great monster who lies in the midst of his rivers, who has said, My river is my own, and I have made it for myself. There is a double identity that is going on. Yah is not only asking that the prophet prophesy against the actual physical human ruler that is seated on the throne. But he's also addressing the spirit that is called a monster who lies in the Nile. The sovereign Pharaoh believed himself, at least in uh, in Moshe's day, to be the incarnation of the sun god. 
and thought that his power source spiritually came from the Nile. He was not that far off. His spiritual authority to rule the nation and to become anti-Semitic and resistant to the very will and heart of the creator of all the universe was sourced from this demonic stronghold, this power that existed behind the scenes. Now, Yah is systematically dismantling not only the the uh, substructure of the nation of Mitzrayim, he is not only attacking uh, the agriculture and the water sources, the foodstuffs, the industries of Mitzrayim, and dismantling them, crippling the food supply and the economy and the political structure. He is also tearing down the, the legitimacy of the various gods and idols in the land so that the Mitzrite people are seeing their mighty ones, their strong ones, those that they have been taught to depend on all their lives, now knuckling down, falling down, and being annihilated at the hand of this strange, unknown Elohim of the Hebrews. Let's fast forward to our day. Various rulers exercise what they believe to be uncontested power in the earth as they rule over groups and nations, as they hold political sway. They will tell their masses whatever they think that they need to hear in order to remain in power. Such is, uh, unfortunately, the American model as well. Though men and women rise up in ranks and gain notoriety and have titles and sit in grand offices and with the power of a pen or the smack of a gavel that they think that they can hold sway over a nation, it is Yah who owns the earth. It is Yah who has determined the boundaries of nations. And he would say to us, come here, let me open your eyes. Let me help you to see behind the individual, the humanity that is the presentation. And let me reveal to you what is the real power, the real uh, authority behind the individual. So underneath this Egyptian headdress of a sovereign in Mitzrayim sat but a man but he was manipulated and controlled by a spiritual authority that was dark and foreboding. Yet that same spirit recognizes, I am no match for Yahweh, the Elohim of Am Israel. And Yah moves that source of evil to his own purposes, bringing about the strategy that will deliver his people from a nation that is steeped in paganism and idolatry. Yah is working in the variety of nations in the earth. We see the puppet head, the figurehead, the individual who has the human expression. But understand that behind the scenes, Yah's power is being displayed against spiritual entities and every knee, every tongue, every entity is going to bow and confess that Yeshua Messiah is the Messiah, that he is a chad with the Father. Um, so we understand then, if this is spiritual, Rav Shaul taught us, as he wrote to the Corinthians, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. You and I as an individual cannot stand up and point to a principality or a power and say, I rebuke you. In the name of Yeshua, be gone. They're well entrenched, and they have their minions who serve their purposes. It's not an individual who's going to take an army, but you and I can be a part of that army. We are not left to these things' devices. Our king reigns. And he has given to you and I the power and the authority to stand together as his people and to bring about his kingdom. The key for us to be delivered and end our exile 
is to learn to come together and stand in a united authority of Messiah. More on this tomorrow. Until then, shalom.